Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Browse Directly task via TrafficBot Pro. Add the task name and the target URL first of all. For other settings of this page, you can keep the default or set up what you prefer. You can select a path folder and check this option if you want to save browser cache. After you save the task, you can set up a schedule here. Then, click Run to run the task. Next, I'll show you some advanced options. Click Edit and find Custom Operation. Right-click and add modules. I'll manually operate one time. And then I'll show you how to do this via the software. Add a sleep time to wait for the website load. Then, go to the browser and press F12 to open the DevTools. Click here and select the element you want to click. If the element you want to operate is in a frame tag, generally some ads are in a frame, we need to switch a frame first. This step means you will choose one of the frame elements to operate. Here we will add a condition to find the a frame you want to switch to. Click Refresh and choose the value after all elements of the website are loaded. Then you need to find the A-frame in the DevTools. The color will turn blue on the page when the A-frame is chosen. Next, count the order of the A-frame among all A-frames that meet the condition you set up just now. It's the first A-frame that meets the condition, so I need to fill in zero here. Please remember it starts with zero. Then we can use the value of style to find the element. I want to close the second page open just now, so I need to fill in one here. Then, click another two elements. The first one can directly use class to find. While the second one needs to use the value of data lang. Data lang is an attribute of this a tag, and kr is the value of attribute data lang.
Next, we can add a random click. We can find that the same part of these four elements. Usually, if the element you want to click is in a tag or a button, you can directly copy spaff and fill in. If the element cannot be found, you can learn the way to input spaff manually. Here a stands for the tag of the four elements, and the item prop is an attribute, URL is the value of the attribute, we can find these four elements through this format. The software will randomly click one element among them. Alright, that should be all. Thanks for watching.